Hello and welcome to Libraries Week. It's a pleasure to be here with you today and share some of my favourite books and the books that influenced me. My name is Leaky Schenkin and I'm CEO of Literature Wales, the national company for the development and promoting of literature in Wales. And as you can imagine, books play an important part in my life. And actually trying to select some of my favourite and most influential books is a bit like uh, trying to pick my favourite child. A very difficult one and behind me are all the other ones which have shaped my life and libraries have played an important part uh, growing up in rural west wales there wasn't a library in the village the village wasn't big enough but a mobile library used to come around once a week and it was for me like oh getting into another world opening the doors of that little lorry was a gateway to many many different worlds and one of my favorite books that I used to love to borrow were all the Asterix books and um, which were beautifully translated directly from the French into Welsh and this would have been one of my favorite of all the Asterix books and uh, as a little girl in a village in West Wales I totally identified with Asterix and, um, and his friends in the little village in Gaal um, so I love these books and I pass them on to my children to the, uh, to the day to day. Also in the Welsh language, we were very fortunate that we had all these lovely um, anthologies, poetry anthologies, including ones for children. So you grew up knowing poetry and reading poetry from a very young age. And my grandmother gave me this beautiful book as a little girl. And I loved it because it also not only had fabulous range of poetry, but also pictures and just a really lovely way of um, introducing poetry in a fun way to children of a young age. So I caught the poetry bug and I used to read ferociously Waldo Williams, whose poetry is just magical and also really appropriate for children, um, talking about birds, talking about nature, but also very powerful and spiritual. And I turned a lot to Dial Pren during this pandemic. Um, poetry gives you comfort more than anything, helps your mental health, and turning to a familiar poem every now and then is a beautiful way to um, sort of interact and cope with the, with the pressures of the world. The book that I've read most of all is the amazing trilogy, His Dark Materials, by the peerless Philip Pullman, who is also a patron of Literature Wales, I'm pleased to say. I've read this three times, once when they all came out, and then secondly, um, quite recently, when the other books came out as well. And I've had the pleasure of reading them with my daughter, Dusky, because we're both big fans of the TV series as well. But this book, every time you read the trilogy, you see something new in it. And the idea of a demon is just one of the most fabulous ideas in all of literature. We're very fortunate in Wales to have fabulous children's authors and probably none better, in my opinion, than Eloise Williams, our very own children's laureate of Wales. All her books are fantastic and they are beautifully um, presented and published by Firefly Press as well. So I highly recommend Eloise Williams to everybody. The book that's influenced me most recently is Why I'm Not Talking to White People About Race. I read this in one sitting when it came out a couple of years ago and it transformed my ideas. And I was ashamed that I hadn't recognized my own privilege as a white person, as a white feminist, before reading this seminally important book. And it's been a gateway to all the other authors and um, important black authors that I had regretfully not understood beforehand. So all white people should read this and should take on board the privileges that we inherently have and to understand better our role in trying to change the world for better. Um, and then this book had been dipping in and out quite a lot over the last few months. It's a fantastic celebration of Wales's literary culture as it is now. Just so you know, this brilliant anthology of essays by Parthian Books please get a copy, go to the library and read this for a snapshot of the Wales we live in now and the Wales of a future. And finally, a book that's just hot off the press by the incredibly talented collective, A Stamp, this wonderful anthology of Welsh language poetry. And it's uh, historical because it's the first ever um, um, Welsh language poetry anthology that um, contains equal amount of female and male voices and it was um, put together at the result of a call out. So it shows 
emerging talent, established talent, and it's a brilliant way of celebrating the uniqueness and the diversity of Welsh language poetry now. And I highly recommend this to everybody watching this. Go and support your libraries and read books. Diolch yfawr.